Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is Switch One by Christian Grace. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course. It's very, very good. Exciting things are happening. We're going to be, we, me, I'm going to be making even more content for it after September um, and it's tremendously exciting so check that out people love it you're gonna love it don't take my word for it check out the website cardmagiccourse.com and if you want a little taster you can learn the best move in card magic in my opinion uh, at cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull c-u-l-l have a look at that and uh, do all the good stuff share it with your mates tell people about the channel that'll be lovely thanks uh, right so little um Thing. I'm not at home, therefore it's all a bit more rustic and old school. I haven't got my lights, I haven't got anything like that, so I'm using natural light and I'm at a secret location working on my show, which isn't really a secret location. I need a secret location. It's not like I'm getting papped out there, is it? Uh, it's a friend's house. <laughs> That's what it is uh, in the countryside, which is lovely. Uh, and I got this. So Christian Grace released level one, which is one of my favourites. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Do it all the time when I do close-up magic when that is possible. And this was his follow-up. Now, obviously, it, it was released in Blackpool. Well, it's pre-released in, in Blackpool um, about 27 years ago, it seems, <laughs> the last Blackpool. And then, of course, some stuff happened that was quite uh, profound to the world. And then it got put back and it's just been released. So I, weirdly enough, didn't get a, a copy back then. I've only just got it, but I have got a review copy, which is why I can do it now. But I've only just started playing with it. So just a little uh, disclaimer, there is no performance. I haven't performed this yet, but I have got it out, worked with it, played with it, practiced it, and got a feel for it. So you do have my expert opinion, whatever that is. I don't know. But if you trust my opinion, I can give it to you now. That's what I can do. Uh, there will obviously be questions if I don't cover everything in this review. I want to play with it properly. So do come on to the comments on comments live show. Not the one tonight if you're watching this. No, it probably would have been out already, so forget that bit. Uh, but the next one. So we'll talk about it then. So make sure you get your questions in the comments under here, and we will, I'll answer them uh, in, the, in the next live show on Thursday evenings at 5 UK. So this is this going to be the difficult second album, really, for me? I, uh, well, no, I knew this back at the, I didn't, yes, I did see it at Blackpool. I saw it at the session. He showed it me at the session before he released it at Blackpool, but he showed me the switch. And this is what you're getting here. So I've got to say this. You're getting a secret gimmick that is going to allow you to do this routine, but you're getting the teaching of this switch as well, which is beautiful. So you've got to see it as two different things. You're, what you're getting is allows you to do the routine that you're seeing, and it obviously allows you to do the switch and bring any card into play or, or any billet, because it doesn't have to be a playing card. You learn the switch and you do this switch. And I will say, he showed me this at the session. He said, come over here. Uh, this is to do with my next release. I'll show you a, a switch. And he opened a bit of paper in front of me. And I went, right, let's see the switch. And he was like, I've just done it. And I was like, no, because I was looking at it. It wasn't a misdirection thing. I was staring at that. And he did it with a billet. And I, I was like, you didn't do a switch then. And he did. And I'm not just saying that to hype. I know some people say that sort of thing. That is the genuine interaction that happened. He probably doesn't remember it. It was a long time ago now. And then he was deming it in Blackpool. And this is also important. He stood every day and did this thing day in, day out, again and again and again and again and again. And when you see that, you know it's a worker. You know it's going to work. You see him do this and everybody's completely fooled by it, completely loved it and couldn't get their head around it. And it was great. Now, of course, there's certain parts of it that you can get your head around as a magician. But again, that switch is just... It just gets people all the time. There's a massive dog moving around behind me, by the way. He's <laughs> um, and it's not mine, but I wish it was. So the, it, it's very good. It's, it's lived up to it for me, but there is some things you need to know. First of all, the routine that you will see in the trailer, which is one shot trailer. They've been very careful to go, right, no, there's nothing pulled away from this. You're going to see everything. 
Someone goes through a very slight process to get to a card, and you'll see that in the trailer. It's all very out there, but they don't have to because there is an advanced handling in a PDF, which I think is great, actually. It's probably the one I would go for where you don't have to go through any of that stuff. But even if you do, it's one step, it's fine. You know what I mean, if you know what I mean. Have a look at it and uh, for yourself. Rich, there are 52 cards in a standard deck of cards, all right? Name red or black out loud. Red. Right, so the reds are the hearts and the diamonds. Mm -hmm. So which do you want, hearts or diamonds? Diamonds. Great, so you're down to 13 diamond cards. That's ace through to king. This is the last choice, just think of which value you want. What do you want? Nine. The nine of diamonds. Yes. Really think about this. Mm -hmm. There's one card underneath that glass. Mm -hmm. You named red, you named diamonds, you named nine. The first time. <laughs> wow. But they get to a card and you you unfold that card and it's their card. Now there's also this routine which is any, what is it, any card at any given time. Any, cho any thought of card at any given time I think where he uses a stopwatch on, uh, on a phone. Uh, this is something you're going to be able to do. It is going to take practice rehearsal, a bit of audience management um, and I like it. I don't really think it's needed. I kind of like the directness of just doing the effect. And as I said, this doesn't have to be a card. You, he, he's actually got a, a card to note that he does, which looks amazing, and a piece of paper to note, which looks amazing. And then you can do a switch of any note to any currency. Um, and you can do it with billet work and, and mentalism routines as well, which is, like, as I said, is what he showed me first of all. The download is very good. Thankfully, again, it's not three and a half hours with a 12 hour live Facebook thing as well. It tells you what you need to know. He's a very good teacher. As I said, he does this. I like Pluck as well. He does, he did, he released this thing at, I think that was the beginning of lockdown, which I really like. And he does say, and I wrote this down, he aims to combine strongest uh, effects with the most practical methods. And we've got to talk about the method. He does say that you're going to be able to do this in minutes with very little practice. I disagree with that. I think you're going to have to, it's knacky, this. Not as knacky as level one. And I, I do agree, he does find the most practical ways, but those most practical ways may involve a little bit of practice. And there's going to have to be practice with two things here. There's the bring in whatever you need to bring in with the secret gimmick, um, which isn't hard. I, I've got no problem with that, but it is going to require you to just work through it and get familiar with it. And that's fine. Um, like I said, very versatile. You can do loads of stuff with it. And the, the switch itself is beautiful but you're going to have to work on it to be confident enough to take it out there. That's fine. I'm not saying that's a negative. It's just something, it isn't, I wouldn't be happy doing this for minutes and taking it out there. I think you, you want to really get it down and, and get that. There's a part of it that's, again, very knacky, and it's just going to, you know it's just going to click, and I played with it for a while, and it did start happening, and that's fine. So just be aware, if you're a beginner, you're coming into it, you want a self-worker, it, it, that's not it even though he says it's very easy. Again, no, I know I'm repeating myself, but you're going to want to practice this. I don't want people buying it and thinking they're going to take it out that day. Uh, I wouldn't be that comfortable with that, which is why I haven't got performance footage of it, incidentally. So it's great. It's really, really good. I can't imagine anybody not being happy with it, as long as you know you follow what I've said. And I think that there are going to be lots of questions about this. But I really think this is a strong piece of magic. I think everybody thinks it's a strong piece of magic. There's some good quotes from Guy Hollingworth, Chris Kenner, and they know stuff, don't they? Uh, and I do tend to agree with them. Uh, but it's going to take a bit of work. But that's Switch 1 from Christian Grace. I don't think there's anything else. Is there anything else I uh, haven't mentioned? No. Oh, there's a, there's a little bit of prep with it. Uh, only one off. Uh, that are gonna, that's going to require you, it took, took me time, it took me about 21 minutes to do in a kind of relaxed way, and then it was done. And you are going to need to supply your own playing cards if you do the, the card one, uh, and that's, that's that. So loads of questions probably, do put them below. Remember to do that, I will read them and I will answer as many as possible. Uh, and do get your spread curl course from me, your free spread curl course. Thank you to Vanish and Inc for sending this to me. All the links will be below. Uh, check that. The spread cull course is cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull and check that out. We have live sessions every week and they're very good. We upload them every week as well. So you get at least four hours of new footage on that course every week, every month. Uh, so have a good one. Take care. See you later.